Man United may have already signed Dan James and Aaron Wan-Bissaka in this summer transfer window, but with less than two weeks left before the window closes, Man United still need to do so much more for Solskjaer to have the tools he needs to rebuild this club. Man United need a new centre-back, whether that's Harry Maguire or somebody else. We need a new central midfielder, whether that's Bruno Fernandes or somebody else. And I would argue we need a defensive midfielder as well as that. On top of all of that, we need to sell Romelu Lukaku, sign his replacement, and get rid of Deadwood like Alexis Sanchez, Marcus Rojo, and Mateo Damian. That's so much to do with so little time. What I'm going to do in this video is run through everything I think that United need to do and why they're all so crucial for Solskjaer if he's going to succeed next season. Now, before I begin, this video is sponsored by Unibet, who are supporting United People's TV through the last couple of weeks of this transfer window. Now, if you haven't headed over to their blog, make sure you do. There's a link in the description. Some fantastic content over there from Andy Mitten, from established United writers, and some of the stuff is original and insightful, especially looking into the transfer window for United. So if all the United content in terms of transfers on United People's TV isn't enough, make sure you head over to the Unibet blog. But let's get straight into this one and talk about what I would consider a potential crisis for Solskjaer in this summer transfer window. Now, first up, it's of course Harry Maguire and the fact that United need a new centre-back. We've been chasing him for some time now, but it's all coming down to price. And United not giving Leicester what they want for Maguire. Now, it's a similar situation to what happened with Wan-Bissaka. They wanted 50, more up front, negotiations happened. United actually got a very good deal there and kept that sell-on clause for Wilfred Zaha. Now... It seems like Edward was trying to do the same thing here with Harry Maguire. But the thing is, United do not have time on their hands. There's less than two weeks left until the window closes. And if Leicester are going to sign a replacement, they need the money in quickly for Maguire. So they want it to be done quick. United are just trying to squeeze... I say United. Woodward is trying to squeeze this deal to be as cheap as possible for United. But without time on our hands, Leicester have the upper hand. And United are just going to have to pay the 80 million for Maguire and accept it because it's like a house. If you want a house that much, you don't go and offer 30, 40 grand under the asking price. You get your house and you're happy with it at the end. But with United and Maguire, it's just been a slow case of trying to get the cheapest deal possible from a club who don't want to sell Maguire, for a player who doesn't want to actively leave the club but he's excited about the prospects of joining United or City. He won't force the transfer. He's asked for it. But until that price comes in, he will not leave. So Woodward, stop fucking around. We don't have any time anymore. Because Maguire might be one piece of the puzzle, but we still need so much more. And the worst case scenario here is we get left without Maguire. Who do we get as an alternative at this late stage? We can't get out of Viral now because that release clause of 25 million has expired. Eric Bailly looks like he might miss half the season. We need a new centre-back and we need to get it done quickly so we can move on to other positions like, I don't know, central midfield and a certain Bruno Fernandes. And the exact same thing is happening with Bruno Fernandes that has been happening with Wan-Bissaka and is happening now with Maguire. We won't give Sporting Lisbon the amount of money they want for their player to be sold. Go figure. It's just Woodward. I mean, there's a real pattern emerging between every single transfer deal that still needs to happen for United. It's all down to Woodward and him being that corporate businessman that wants the single best deal for United. And I understand that negotiations are a crucial part of any transfer window. And I don't expect or want United to just go out, pay anything that a club wants just to get that player. That's not the way to operate. Also not the way to operate is to not sign anybody because you won't pay what clubs want. United need to simply pay that if we want to sign Bruno Fernandes. It's as simple as that. And you saw how good he was with that performance against Liverpool in the pre-season. I think he got a goal and an assist up against the Champions League winners. As hurtful as it is to say that. Elite level opposition. And Bruno Fernandes looked very, very good. So you stop fucking around, United. Sorry to swear again. But we are. We're just dithering and we can't dither anymore because there's only two weeks left and as well as that centre back and as well as that central midfield signing I would personally argue that signing a proper defensive midfielder is just as important if not more important than both of those positions 
because I would consider that probably the weakest part of this United midfield. I think next season, Scott McTominay is going to be probably one of United's best midfielders simply because of how much he commits to his performances by comparison to the others. But Nemanja Matic, not good enough to start there anymore. Fred and Pogba, both more attack-minded midfielders. And we've sold Herrera and Fellaini. So we're so short in that department. Yet United really haven't been going all out to try and sign a defensive midfielder. And Don Bele went to Spurs, an unbelievably good signing. But you all know how much I like Ruben Neves. Why haven't we looked at him? Why haven't we looked at Wilfred and Didi? The scouting wouldn't have been that hard. They both play in the Premier League and are both awesome against United. It seems like United are overlooking this position a little bit. And that's a bit scary because I feel it's a massive problem. Huge problem as to why we can't play out from the back with the ball because there's nobody there who can carry it. So you have to ignore that position and try and spray it a bit longer. I think it's a crucial position that United need to strengthen. But on top of that centre-back signing that needs to be Maguire at this stage and a central midfield signing like Bruno Fernandes to bolster our attacking options, do we really have enough time and enough money to sign a defensive midfielder as well? I don't know. I really, really doubt it. And on top of all of those as well, selling Romelu Lukaku and signing his replacement is another key factor because that's a 70 to 80 million player that's going to be leaving this summer, I would say. He wants to leave. United don't want him in the squad anymore. He didn't play a minute of pre-season. Injured my ass. He was just sitting there because Solskjaer wants to sell him and sign a replacement. And that replacement sounds like it could be Nicolas Pepe from Lille who again would be a fantastic signing, but it looks like United aren't going to aggressively go for Nicolas Pepe until we've sold Lukaku. Lo and behold, that's being dragged out by, guess what? Defeat, because Inter are not offering enough for Lukaku and Woodward is holding out for a bit more. And it sounds like we're not going to go after Pepe until we've got that confirmed Lukaku to Inter deal done. But Pepe's a wanted man. You know, the likes of Atletico Madrid, Arsenal, Liverpool, all sniffing around Pepe as well. It's not just United. And Lille want to get the deal done as well. So, so many things to juggle at the same time. A new centre-back, a new central midfielder. I would argue we need two central midfielders. Selling Lukaku, signing a Lukaku replacement. That's so many things that have to be done in the next couple of weeks. And then on top of all of that, you've really got to look at getting rid of the dead wood in this squad. We've been saying it all damn summer, man. But Alexis Sanchez, Mateo Darmian and Marcus Rojo are three players who should not play a minute more for Manchester United. Alexis Sanchez, I don't want him coming anywhere near what looks like a very exciting attacking lineup that United have right now. The likes of Chong and Gomez really taking their opportunities on tour. And I don't want Sanchez, who hasn't played a minute of preseason, to be dropped back in there because he's a virus. He's the wrong attitude and the wrong sort of player to come into that team. Sure, he might come back and be a good player, but I don't want to take that risk. I don't think United need to take that risk. Get rid of him. Draw a line in the sand and say, didn't work out with Sanchez. We messed that one up. Let's move on. Don't bring Sanchez back in. Get rid of him. Rojo, Damian, not good enough to play for United. So we need a new centre-back. I would say two new central midfielders. We need to sell Lukaku. Sign his replacement, sell Sanchez, sell Darmian and sell Rojo, all within the space of a few weeks. Now, there's more time to sell because the Bundesliga, Serie A and La Liga, their transfer windows close later than the Premier Leagues. So the main focus for this two weeks is signing those players. But to sign Lukaku's replacement, we have to sell Lukaku. There's just so many things that United are now juggling in a short space of time, and it's all down to how long we've taken to do anything this summer. Wan-Bissaka was dragged out. Dan James, that was fine. That was done early. Solskjaer said he wanted all of his transfers done early this summer, all before the preseason. That worked out pretty well. But I think this represents a crisis for United and for Solskjaer for one main reason, and that's because I strongly feel that if United don't give Solskjaer the tools he needs this summer to properly start this rebuild, then he's just going to walk down that same path that Mourinho walked down last season. The same path of a manager who doesn't have the right players that he needs at his disposal to compete with the Premier League elite 
and that's what United need and want to do. But we can't do that and have Poundland investments. We need those signings. New centre-back, new central midfielder, another new right winger probably to replace Lukaku in the squad. You can't expect success and not invest. That's the way the Premier League goes now. But United have really balls it up, I think. Two weeks left. Maybe I'll be proven completely wrong and that this video is just an overreaction. But it's less than two weeks. And if anything I've been taught by United in the last five, six years of the transfer window, it's don't expect much. Certainly not towards the end. Because maybe we'll just end up sign, signing out of IRL for more than his release clause. Just like we signed Fellaini for more than his release clause that expired. Because we couldn't get Fabregas. Things need to change. And I thought they were changing. But with less than two weeks to go and so much still needed at the club. Both ins and outs. I fear for what comes next season if nothing changes in these next two weeks. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Maybe I am overreacting. I don't think I am though. But I'd be really interested to hear what you've got to say in the comments. Uh, now, if you're new to United People TV and you're still here, make sure you subscribe. Enjoy your weekend. Until next time, take it easy.